All right, guys, here we are. Uh, this is the first game of the day for my stream, and this is definitely something that will probably be hitting YouTube because this is an absolutely legendary mod. Uh, this mod is called Grand Grand Theft Monument GTM. Uh, there's all this GTA roleplay going on on YouTube and Twitch nowadays, but this is GTM, and there's a monument here because it's King of the Hill. Only the monument can be stolen. I've explained it to the players, so I'm sure we'll get to see it, but basically, the monument can be placed in a transport. Which means that you can sail away with the monument and have control of it. It's really interesting stuff. Uh, you know, in the past, the focus is always in the center of the map because that's where the monument is fixed. But with this mod, that is not the case. You can actually sail away with it, and there's a lot of fun stuff that can come from that. So I'll introduce the players. First, we have Freeloading. Freeloading is playing as the Byzantines in the gray. Uh, in the orange, we have Random Voyager. He is playing as the Persians. In the yellow, we have Terment. He is playing as the Mayans. In the green, we have Just That Guy playing as the Teutons. In the blue, we have Miguel OP playing as the Japanese. In the teal, we have Ray, who's playing as the Aztecs. In the red, we have Weird Strats, who's playing as the Spanish, and he's going for some weird strats because he's on three sheep right now. And then, last but not least, we have Walkie Talkie, who's playing as the Mongols. So, eight players. The goal in this game is to get Don't to this monument me. and control Just it. The players. Intro. Thank you very much, Rogar, for, you know, interrupting my intro. But, it's alright, YouTube's not gonna care. Isn't that right, YouTube? I don't know what to expect here. I noticed that no one has chose Saracens. We're going to do this more than once, I'm sure. Uh, choosing Saracens is a great idea, in my opinion, because Saracen transports have more HP. They can survive longer, which will be important if people have navies chasing down your transport ship. It's important to note that the Wonder can also just be landed elsewhere. So let's say Freeloading comes over here with a transport ship and garrisons the monument. He could drop the monument off on his base. Uh, it would be on the shoreline, though, because he's unable to move it around when it gets there. Um, so I, I don't know what the, the best strategy is. Maybe you could, in theory, build a bunch of castles and fortify the shoreline and then transport the monument over. Uh, another route you could take is you could just transport or put the monument in the transport and hide it in the corner. Uh, when the monument is in a transport, it is not visible to other players in the game. Now this is diplomacy, so if you're allied with someone and they have the monument in the transport, you should be able to guess where it is. So there will have to be some teamwork here, I'm sure, to hunt down the person who has the monument. And Freeloading says, don't be surprised if you see a transport of me probably just passing. Yeah, uh, it's all my subs out there on Twitch, please get some just passings in the chat. Blue Coffee isn't here, but he's here in spirit, I'm sure. He's probably he's probably working his way through a Diplo game right now. This would be perfect setting for him. By the way, I will have a YouTube video over the next week, week and a half with Blue Coffee. Um, just going to tease that, of course. I can't spoil everything, but you guys will like it. So lots of questions. Uh, someone in the chat said, can you put a monument in a RAM? Um, I'm going to assume you cannot unless you download more RAM on the internet. Which is what you have to do. No, no, no. I mean, that was that was an awful joke. I don't think so. Uh, the mod didn't say you could do that. So... But people also said I can't download more RAM on the internet. And I can, so... I don't think so. It's only supposed to be for transports, but this is a brand new mod. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to Gallus. I don't think Gallus frequents my streams. But chat, if you could just get some hearts or, or whatever you could do to show your appreciation for Gallus... Um, 97.1% of you have probably never heard of the guy, and this guy has been making mods for years. Before the community blew up, uh, he's been making mods. He's actually the one who made the T90 Christmas mod back in 2016, uh, which I've used in the past. It makes forage bushes become Christmas bushes, it makes deer turn into Rudolph, it makes kings turn into Santa Claus. Uh, the guy has made mods for years, and, and without people like that in this community, we, we never would have, uh, we wouldn't be able to enjoy things like this, so I really do appreciate people like Galas. And most of the mods, like the Moving Buildings mod, uh, the Kidnap mod, all of these things that we have done before were all because of Galas. So he's a real MVP of the community. So, uh, you know, I rarely do islands. The big reason I don't like to do islands in community games is because one person gets 150 ships, they surround the monument, and then the game's over. 
And it can be pretty unfair at times with map generations. For example, orange is much closer to these extra gold piles on this center island. But with this, it's first come, first serve. Just get to the middle with the transport ship. It's worth reminding people that uh, this mod does not run with the newer expansions. So you actually cannot make a transport in Dark Age. Players will have to wait till Feudal Age to make a transport ship. Some people might be thinking, okay, why aren't they taking this now? And that's why. I've never seen this before except for a little gif that was on Reddit. So I I mean, I will be just as surprised and just as interested to see what you got or what these players are able to do here. But fishing is always important on water maps. I I stress this all the time. Make sure you're getting deep fish, not shore fish like freeloading. Deep fish is a great source of food income. You only need to invest into the the fishing ships. And then you're able to bring in food almost the entire game as long as no one kills them. Now, farming is not a good idea in Dark Age. When you have so many fish around, it's better to invest in the fishing ships. Matt Lysia, thank you for the 2 month 3 sub. Rusty Shackleford says, Sub T90, not much, man. Is ready to see some monuments kidnapped. <laughs> Imagine if I forgot the monuments. Like, oh, uh, just ready to see some kidnappings. And that's what I like in my life. I like to see things kidnapped. Stowed away in transports where no one in the world can find them. The police might be knocking on my door. Polo, thank you for the tier 2 new sub. That's awesome. Kudo Neto, thank you for the prime sub. And I'm sure YouTube realizes this, but this I am streaming this currently, so... If I'm talking to this chat at the bottom right, it's because they're asking questions or making fun of my farms or something. Miguel says, I'm getting housed so bad. These guys are pretty chatty. Yellow said, who lamed my boar, 11? It's kind of funny. You know, Yellow messaged me. Oh, 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 oh. Walkie talkie just started the countdown. Okay. And player, oh, wait, you can move it. Whoa, I didn't know you could move it too. We've learned something already. But you know what's funny is it's kind of trapped here because there's only a one tile gap. So it's stuck here, but when I tested it before the stream, I couldn't move it when I put it on my island. But maybe, maybe I'm just noob. If you can actually put it in the center of your island, that's almost a death wish, honestly, but it is interesting. And players should be able to see the monument when it's moving around, unless it's inside a transport ship. Okay, Miguel's in feudal. Is he making a transport? No transport. Uh, what about walkie-talkie? Oh, 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 oh. He doing it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go to Freeloading's point of view. Just anyone point of view, anyone's point of view except Walkie Talkie so you can see what happens. So he has to click it. Oh! See, it disappears. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I'm telling you. Get Saracens. They have the higher HP transports. And just keep sailing around all game. <laughs> Ray says, damn, he stole that. I bet you Ray had his own transport. Yeah, so they know it's purples, though. That's the thing. So if they find purple, they might have an idea of where the monument is. But Grand Theft Monument, this is awesome. No, see, this is kind of a mistake, I think, though, to take it so early. Termin says, too bad we can't sink it. Well, in the event that this transport sinks, then the monument goes back to the, the last place it was on land. So you know what would be smart, actually, is to eject it onto your island, then put it back into your transport. Just in case you lose the transport ship, then it would still be close to you instead of in the center. Well, 508 years, uh, if... Oh, 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 oh. Freeloading's making a fishing ship there. Walkie-talkie, you're not being very stealthy, man. <laughs> Freeloading immediately makes a galley. <laughs> he sees it. Yellow says, I have five trees on my island. Dude, you have plenty of trees. And Freeloading says, I see you, walkie-talkie. Laughs, and he's making a navy. Okay. So anyway, uh, if, you, if you're if you new to King of the Hill, there's got to be one person out there who's never seen this before. Good day from Australia. Finally catch the stream. Keep up the groovy content. If you're new to King of the Hill, the idea is to control the monument until the countdown hits zero. So 
491 years is a long time. Is Purple allied with anyone? No, you dummy. He's actually allied with people. So watch, just this guy is getting Carto? And when cartography completes, he can now see where it is. <laughs> Walkie talkie. I know you're all about communication because of your name, but this is not information you would like to you should give to your allies. That's a mistake. If you're if you have this monument and they can see it, you're done though, buddy. Yeah, cartography does cost a hundred wood or sorry, not wood, food and gold. Because it's the old balance. Oh, sorry, my water bottle almost fell. Admiral, thank you for the $6.91. 69, nice. He said, good day from Australia. Finally managed to catch the stream. Keep up the groovy content. I will, man. Thank you. Glad you could make it. And oh, now now Walkie Talkie realizes like, oh boy. They can all see what's going on. So I'm gonna change them all to enemy. I think he has put a giant target on his back. Uh, he is defending here, but that's a long time. What if when the transport is destroyed and there are troops at the place the wonder was before? Uh, you mean if something's blocking it? That's a good point. I don't know what would happen if there was, let's say, uh, a bunch of arbalest here, and then that transport were to die. By the way, it shows as a Mameluke. You see this? There's no monument icon there. It's a Mameluke. He enemied me. I can't find it. We'll have to scout corners, says Ray. And just that guy's the same for me. So, great communication from the other players. I, I would like chat to throw a salute up for Walkie Talkie, though, because he's gonna he's made this game very interesting. He's probably not going to win. I, mean, I, hate, I hate to be a jerk, but he's probably not going to win because all seven others are going to hunt him down. But I love the fact that he's done this this early to give us something to talk about instead of letting the monument sit there all game. So thank you for sacrificing yourself for the cause here. Hey, maybe this is the legend of Walkie Talkie. I, I don't know, but he's he's not being very stealthy. Again, I think corners is the way to go. Uh, Ray just mentioned it. He does have the option to drop that off at his base. But as it stands, uh, if the transport dies... Wait, shoot, where did it go? Yeah, here it is. I'll control group it. If the transport dies, then it goes back to the center. I wonder what happens if you convert the transport ship. I think Walkie Talkie's just enjoying his time, man. It seems like he's a very happy guy. Just type an 11, just passing. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's like, Mom, I got the monument. A bunch of people are talking about me, Mom. Just put the transport chip in a transport chip and boom, win. Oh, yeah, next level strategies. Well, please don't lag someone. It is a 20-year-old game, and we have people from all over the world here. I believe someone might be dropping out here. Let me just message the host. If it's not freeloading, the game goes on. It's always sad to see someone drop out, though, but sometimes it has to happen. Walkie Talkie is quickly gathering friends and family to watch the stream. That's probably why he paused it. Yeah, he's probably calling people right now. Well, let's let's look around. This is giving us some time to investigate. Uh, Ray is the strongest player in the game by far. Ray, Ray, actually, hold on. I take that back. Ray and Freeloading, I think, are the two strongest. And then Miguel chose to continue instead of save and exit. So... Someone's dropping right now, and they're continuing instead of saving it. Miguel! No! Oh, this is where you, you have to stay next to Miguel. Hide that transport next to Miguel, because he's dead now. Weird strats and freeloading type F in the chat to pay respects. It happens. I actually think he dropped a few weeks ago when he was in a game as well. Anyways, the game goes on. Thankfully, it wasn't weird uh, walkie-talkie. That would have been sad. But but anyway, Ray, you know, he has the fire ships. He has 51 villagers, 17 fishing ships. He has a great economy. And Miguel, unfortunately, had more villagers, so he was doing fine there. But his internet's not so fine. 
And walkie-talkies just sailing around. <laughs> What's that? Who's the artist that uh, has the song uh, Come Sail Away? Do you guys remember? It's like, I'm sailing away. Is that Styx? Blast from the past there. Someone's got to know it's Styx, yeah. I remember back when, like, burning CDs was a thing. And so I would go to my brother's computer and I would just burn random songs because I wanted to be cool like my bro and listen to what he would listen to. And I remember some of the songs were like Fuel and uh, what other songs? Like what other artists? There was Fuel, which is still a great group. I still love their their classics. Um, shoot, anyway, there's a bunch of them. And then apparently I randomly downloaded Eric Cartman singing Come Sail Away. So he's like, ah sailing away i can't do it but uh i always think of that i don't even think of the sticks version i remember using my cd player i remember it was a new cd player i was using on, on the bus and it you know the no skip or the the yeah the no skip cd players where it wouldn't skip if the if the bus hit a bump that was a big deal i mean it would still skip but just not as much i had a weird childhood Walkie Talkie says, McLovin' it. This game is sponsored by McDonald's, where you can get your your greasy delights 24 hours a day using the T90 official promo code. I'm kidding. There's no... I have no McDonald's sponsorship. He He's getting careening right now. Ooh. And he's made another transport. Okay, we seriously have to look for it. I wish there were spies. Yeah, I know. Spies for the monument would be interesting. I almost like it without spies. What do you guys think? I think it's it's kind of fun, the fact that they can't easily see it. Because I say that he's putting a target on his back. He's going to hurt his own eco, but as long as he keeps his transport, he could win the game. Now, I don't think you can do a transport in the middle of the water. You can't transport something into another transport unless you put it... Well, you cannot transport into another transport. You have to go to land and then switch the transport. So maybe he could do fakes, though. Oh, my God. That's got to be the meta, guys. We're going to do this a bunch of times, I'm sure. But, but that's the new meta. You make, like, ten transports, put villagers in nine of them, and then put the monument in the other one. That's the way to go. All right. Well, who I am, thank you for gifting five subs to the stream, man. Thank you, chat. You guys have been excited and hyped today. Uh, to those on YouTube, I just started the stream first game of the day, so a lot of people are just coming in. Great to see so many friendly faces, new faces. What happens if the transport with the monument gets sunk? Yeah, I already addressed that. What? What? What happened? It's yellows now. That's a yellow Mamluk. <laughs> what happened, man? <laughs> Termint, who apparently has it, says, where is it now? So he can't see it? He has no clue. Walkie talkie says T90 rigged. Let's get the T90 hacks and T90 rigs fam going. Holy crap. Says T90 hates me. Well, that's that's not true. Seriously, what caused that? I mean, it is a brand new mod and it's not... Does he have to un-garrison and then take it again and then re-garrison? Okay, that's the noise the transport makes when you can't fit something on land. He needs to find a bigger spot. That's a, that's a thick transport, a thick monument, sorry. I don't think going to the middle does anything, no. Oh, look, he just dropped it off. Oh, oh, they spotted it, though. Gray spotted it. Nice spot, because it, remember, it shows up for a moment. Yep, they can see that. The purple got it back. I'm not sure how yellow got it. That's a good theory that maybe going to the center would do it, but, but then this wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't make sense that purple could get it back. Well, I kind of hope that doesn't happen again, but it certainly adds a twist to all of this. 
Because blue has a transport ship here. And blue's obviously dead, but... Well, let's see if freeloading... Maybe freeloading is expecting it to come back here at some point. That, that would be a next level play as well. Just waiting for someone to kill this transport so he could then, like, steal it. He has a lot of navy at the moment. And I, I don't know if you saw earlier, but at purple... Oh my god! Good thing I pay attention when I cast games. Purple's at 22 villagers. Knights were transported here. Great teamwork from everyone to focus on the guy who has the monument. So yeah, purple is pretty much dead if this if he loses the monument. He he has no chance to reboom. He's trying, but very far behind. Not sure what went down over here. Like red was just building houses, the forward house strategies. Now red red has lost 27 units. Oh, walkie-talkie as a villager. Sorry, I've honestly been so focused on this transport that I'm not looking at these other skirmishes. I feel like that's okay. Oh! Oh! Just passing! Just passing! Red has a transport there. Why is he going for forward houses? Does he not have his own space? Man, this is pretty good for purple because the last they knew, last thing they knew is the monument was on the other side of the map. He's worked his whole way around here. They really need to have some units on patrol. Man, the eco is going to be set for a lot of these guys where they'll After be able of being a YouTube peasant. <laughs> I finally made it. Don't call them peasants, they're listening. Age of Empires <laughs> about 15 years ago and amazing to see the growth in 2019. T90 new T90 hype. Polo, that's awesome, man. You were also the one who subbed with tier 2 earlier. Thank you. Well, welcome into the stream. This is a great one to see for the first time, I think. Because we have a brand new nothing map coming up later on today as well. And of course, YouTube, if it's good, you'll see it. Yeah, Polo, thank you again, man, for the dono and the sub now. MVP of the day so far. Oh! Walkie Talkie says, no! That's a fake! He's saying no, but this is a fake transport! I wonder if Yellow's gonna be confused by this. Oh, I love the mind game from Walkie Talkie. He acted like that was the transport with the monument. And Yellow looks confused. He hasn't said anything, but those that Navy just sitting there looking at it like, hmm, where'd it go? Where's the monument? He looks confused. They've gotta find him, right? Surely they're going to find him. They really should all work together against each opponent. If purple has it, they should all ally against purple. If blue gets it, well, blue's dead. If yellow gets it, they should all ally against yellow. That's how it should go down. Man, walkie-talkie has held on to this thing longer than I ever expected. But it's, it's tough. It's a big map. There's a lot of water out here. It's hard to spot these things. It's just weird how they're not looking for the corners. Yellow's doing a good job. Man, yellow's patrolling the edges of the map. Gray seems to have an eye on the corner. The one corner they don't have vision on is the corner where the walkie-talkie transport is. Surely he can't win it. He has less population than the guy who's dead. <laughs> he has less population than the guy who can't defend himself. Great job from Ray here. Oh my god, look at all the gold he's collecting. Ray will probably focus on Navy soon, as he's in the Imperial Age. And since he's Aztec, he'll probably just go for fast fire ships. Terment is now in the Imperial Age. He's also taken control of this island with extra golds. Smart thinking. There's ton of, tons of gold there. What's walkie-talkie up to? Oh, he's making more transport ships. Oh, God. He needs, he needs to get the fakes out quickly. Here comes freeloading. Now, freeloading has fire ships. Freeloading is just passing. See, the problem is walkie-talkie doesn't have enough upgrades. He doesn't even have the fletching upgrade in his war galley, so they, they won't even scratch the fire ships. 
and now he's on the move. But if he moves this way, he moves towards Teal, and Teal's fishing ships will give him vision there. T90, yo, I finally made it to one of your streams. You are awesome, dude. Keep up the good work. Your videos make my dad. Well, thank you, HodgePodge. Hope to make your whole week with this one, man. 214 years remaining. I mean, not saying I want the game to be a week long. No, thank you. Freeloading, Ray looking very good, Terment, Random Voyager. Everyone's looking pretty good, uh, weird, except for Weird Strats. Weird Strats is having some problems here. I, he tried to lame the golds? It's kind of weird here. Oh, and look, they signaled! They signaled, Walkie Talkie has another fake! And Walkie Talkie says, question mark, I don't know what you're talking about. So, this is the first time this mod has ever been used? People might be confused when they kill a transport and nothing happens. Nothing happens. Walkie Talkie is still getting away with it. Orange signals Yellow's Navy and says, hey, what are you doing? I think, I think this is genuine from Yellow, though. He's just checking the corners that no one else is patrolling in. He checked this corner. Yellow? I hope Yellow... Not necessarily wins, but I hope he does well this game, because he is doing most of the work to hunt this down. Now, I think Ray is just getting revenge on Red. He'll have three islands after all of this. Red's name is Weird Strats. He lived up to the name here. Doesn't make a lot of sense to build houses on Teal's Island, does it? No, it does not. Um, he has transports around with some villagers. And he says, what's the game mode again? Wait, you don't even know what the game mode is? Well, maybe that's part of the problem. This is not Grand Theft House. Okay, that doesn't make sense. This is not House Dropper 9000. This is Grand Theft Monument. I did explain it, but... Yeah, who, who even knows, man? You know mode. Oh, and again, Yellow spots this. <laughs> and walkie talkie has villagers man is he does he still have transports he keeps doing this shit he just needs to do this enough times man till they get confused wow those galleons were firing out of the the side of their ship there okay so that's what the third or fourth transport that's been killed and Terman says hmm oh this is so good the first time we've ever done this and yellow or or not yellow Purple's playing like a pro. Yellow is too, though, because he's hunting this down. And oh my god. Remember, he has Galleon. Walkie Talkie doesn't even have Fletching. This is Yellow's point of view. He sees this transport. Maybe he'll realize now that these are fakes. But Purple's on the move. 157 years. Oh! Freeloading just missed him! Freeloading just missed him. Walkie talkie says so good. Well, don't get too cocky here, walkie talkie. I don't know if he's he's necessarily saying that he's so good or what, but uh Oh, they found him. They found him. Ray had built outposts here, and freeloading just signaled this to the group. Meanwhile, Ransom Voyager is getting elite war elephant. So what we can expect now is this transport's gonna die at some point. Might be in 10 years, it might be in 90 years, but it's probably gonna die. And when it dies, that monument is supposed to go back to the last piece of land it was on. Oh no, that would actually be here! <gasps> what are the chances? What are the chances? That's exactly where Red has his 9 pop, or his 5 pop here. Can Red get the win? What are the chances that Red would go there? Okay. There are the transports. Wait! Never mind. I thought it would go back to the last point. It actually shows up to the closest piece of land. The monument has 1 HP. Is that normal? What if the monument just gets destroyed? Purple says it's rigged. And now, it's at 129 years and Ray has underneath uh, or in his control. Walkie Talkie says, such a rigged game. He, You did a good job, man. I never expected you to get that far. 
Termint says, Ray, please go. Freeloading is here. Oh, it's a party. And it kind of sucks for Aztecs because they do not get Galleon. Oh, it's a party, all right. Who's going to get this first, though? I mean, Ray has some transports here. Ray's just set everyone to enemy. So it's about to go down. Now, he could use Navy to control this. He could use land con to control this. Remember, he has those Eagle Warriors. But I think Ray has made a mistake. I, I think getting it in a transport and running off is probably the best play. We'll see, though. A freeloading has fast fires on the way. He has his galleons here. He is lacking the careening upgrade, which is important. Ranta Voyager is just loading up elephants into transport ships, so we have that to focus on. But keep in mind that Ray does have the closer reinforcements. He's building a castle on the shoreline. 106 years. Weird strats types F. He's at 11 pop now. He's trying to reboom back into the game. Well played, Ray. It, the, the lack of the craning upgrade is a huge deal. It, it's armor for your ships. The fact that freeloading doesn't have that is going to hurt him here. And he's further away with his buildings. Okay, so Ray is top score in the game. Now everyone needs to work against him. Yellow needs to do it with gray. Uh, we need green involved. Green certainly has resources. And here comes the Navy. Let's go. He's Teuton, so he lacks Bracer, but still has a lot of Galleons. Oh, and I think Purple just showed up to try and steal this. Purple came back for more. He can't get it, though, and Ray might snag it himself here. Let's see. You can't transport it unless it's yours. That was such a funny move from Purple, man. <laughs> 11 population. He tried to, tried to steal it again. Holy crap, man. Everyone wants this monument. Oh! Ray's got it! Ray's got it! Ray's making a run for it! Now, will he drop it on lands? Or will he just sail around with it? I think land is the better approach here. I'm not sure he can ungarrison it there. And now... Oh, Ray got it back. He's lucky. The one villager. So... Holy crap. Are green and gray attacking each other? Oh, they are. Green says, why me, gray? Gray says, you enemied me. Green says he didn't. So, I mean, in the meantime, they're all losing their navies over this. I, I don't think green will play a huge part. Can yellow do something? Remember how good Termint was. You can kind of move the monument around here. But, uh, no transports in sight. Is he making any transports? He's not. And is he fighting anyone here? He's enemy to walkie-talkie and to Ray. That's it. And he says, what do I do with it now? You, you need to... You obviously need to transport it. Ray could still win this, man. You guys need to transport this away. That was such a good play from Ray to get that in the transport and put that on his island. And, and now what's he going to do here? Is he going to dock block it? He's building some towers. He's repairing it. <laughs> I've never seen a monument repaired before. That must have been a misclick. Oh, he's moving it. Oh, no. Whoa, it's over top the TC now. It doesn't matter how much HP the monument has because there's no way that someone can damage the monument. It is weird it goes to 1 HP, though. Walkie Talkie says, I want it. That's mine. Oh, I hope he can do it. He has 15 vills. He has one transport ship. But someone else is going to have to do the work for him. Wait, can the others see it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Purple can't see it. I thought that everyone could see it, but the reason they're able to see it is because most of the people have Carto against Ray. So, you know what they need? They need green uh, or yellow or gray to go on land here. Which is not so easy to do. They're, they're cleaning up a lot of the buildings, but they definitely need to get to land, get control of it, then move the monument to the shoreline so they can transport it away. Oh my god, yeah, Gray's Island is getting taken here. 
Sorry, T90 blind, but why? That's that's so random for random Voyager. Why? Like it doesn't matter. All it does is it 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 hurts the chances of of everyone except for Ray. Like that helps Ray big time. Has Ray just paid off random Voyager? Well, why not? Well, why not transport it to Ray's base? Now it's at 60 years, Random Voyager had all the time in the world. He did a good job attacking Purple earlier, but why freeloading? Walkie Talkie is asking where it is. Red is here! Oh my god. Weird strats. He is back. He has villagers here. Hey, anything can happen. Anything can happen. <laughs> He's building a castle and it dies immediately. <laughs> Man, weird strats and walkie-talkie. I know that they probably are not going to win this game, but man, have they been enjoyable. It's like, oh, we got to secure this territory. Let's build a castle. Man, if Orange doesn't get the elephants here, I think the game's over. Green's pop-capped. He can't get land there. They all committed to Navy. Gray, he doesn't have her eco or options because of Orange. Really disappointing, honestly. I, I I would really like to see things change. Terment is playing like a boss. He's he's making some eagles. But Ray, Ray has a lot of eagles. He just needs to control this for thirty nine more years. Orange Orange just kind of ruined this. Unless he gets the transports over here. I don't like to single people out a lot. You know, like maybe he. Did, I, I always try and find a reason for why they might be doing things. But I think that Random Voyager has has pretty much just done it because he wanted to kill someone. Uh, he has not has not played the objective here. Also, wasn't really hunting down. Remember, he wasn't hunting down uh, the monument either when purple had it. It was yellow that it was doing it in the southern corner. Green says, "Where is it?" Yeah, I guess now he should see it. It's right there. Freeloading is building a castle and a stable here to his credit. Maybe to secure wood lines. Yeah, it. it it could have something to do with securing the map, but he, he can see the monuments there. Like, okay, now now he's loading up the transports, but it's too greedy, man. He's going to get some wood. He's going to get gold, but he will not be there in time, and, and Ray's going to win this game. Well, it's going to be a disappointing spin on the end of this for sure, but, but what a ridiculous game mode, man. We need to do this again and again and again and again. This random voyager just figured out too late that he needed to be there. It does make it complicated. Ray did everything right. <clears throat> he saved himself in the last moment before he was going to lose his navy. He transported it onto his island. He shifted it to the center. And then just needed to secure it. I think this is the meta play. I think this is the way to do it. Don't move it! Be careful! There's always a risk that someone could take control of the monument. Walkie talkie! Let's go! Save it! What if it glitches out and Walkie Talkie somehow gets it at three years? That would be incredible. <laughs> He's tried. Oh, man. What a bummer. Way to go, Walkie Talkie. <laughs> the game's over. Oh, what a ridiculous game, man. Well played, Ray. Uh, the only thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way there was the fact that Orange attacked Gray. Uh, but, you know... I don't think there was any malice in it. I just don't think that he was able to realize the way the game was going. Um, definitely would have had more wood control and gold control and, and would have been in a nice position had he grabbed the monument. But he attacked Gray instead, and I feel a bit bad for freeloading because freeloading, he was doing a lot to try and get the monument. He was, he was playing the objective really well, and he really had no way of defending from that attack. Um... Uh, that's the first time that we have used this Grand Theft Auto, or Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Monument mod. And I think it has given us some good ideas as to what players could do in the future. And we'll do it more for sure. Poo -poo -pee -pee. Uh, we're going to do it more today. If you're watching on YouTube, that might mean over the next few days you'll get episode number two and three and four. But it's really cool. Uh, thanks again to Gallus for making this. And if you guys use the Voobly platform to play AOE2 and are, are curious what this is, I'll have this link in the video description. Sister Respector, who is actually Ray in the game, said, For this game mode, you definitely need smaller maps. 
or spies to locate the monument. It's too annoying otherwise. Oh, it's definitely going to be annoying. I think that we're going to experiment with different maps. Islands was just the first one that came to mind. Um, I think that Pilgrims would actually be really fun. Because in theory, you could you have all that water on Pilgrims, or you could actually take it to land. Um, I, I think Pilgrims would actually be a very solid map for this. We'll experiment, all right? There's only one way to know how the game should be played. There's only one way to know what maps are good for things. You have to try it out. As for spies and whatnot, I kind of liked the fact that this one didn't have spies. The players had to talk to each other. They, they had to like say where the monument was. There was communication that was needed. And I liked how stealthy walkie-talkie could be. If there was cartography, or not cartography, sorry. If there was spies, then Purple would have never had a chance. There's never going to be those wins that we so desire where the guy's on 10 population and running around if this was competitive if we were turning this into an expert tournament then obviously we'd add spies or something so 268 kills for freeloading uh ray as i said played really well he had three monuments or three islands uh lots of resources he definitely benefited from the fact that blue dropped out Right after Blue dropped out, he went to his island and took that gold. But the key for him was transporting that monument to his island right before his navy died. And then shifting it to the center and protecting it. <laughs> Walkie Talkie had 9% of all researches. <laughs> Just goes to show you how bad the game was for him. 5 kills, 111 units lost. Oh my god. For a moment there, I thought it was going to be possible for him. How funny would it have been and how epic would it have been if those villagers he sent in in the dying moments would have reset the countdown to 100 and then he ran away with the monument. That would have been so funny, man. Anyways, so obviously this was streamed. If you did see this on YouTube and you have interest in stopping by the live stream, the Twitch link is below in the video description. I do community games every Friday. I am casting frequently from expert games to classic games on Twitch. So feel free to check that out. And when you get there, my schedule is always posted below the video feed.